Lukashenko continues to push his Soviet forces into Western Europe, seizing control of key regions left behind by the retreating allies. Great Britain now stands as the last European nation yet to feel the jackboot of Soviet aggression. That might be short-lived, however, as sources tell us that a vast Soviet armada has been spotted off the northern coast of France. Commander, I'm Field Marshal Robert Bingham, Chief of the Allied Military Command. I've been told that you're a very capable officer. Well, let's hope this assessment is correct, as all our senior commanders are now fighting in Europe, leaving the defense of Great Britain entirely in your hands. I'd like you to meet Lieutenant Ava. She will be your intel officer and communications liaison. Glad to have you on board, sir. Field Marshal, the President is ready for you. Mr. President, I'd like you to meet our new commander on the ground. Greetings, Commander. You ready to send those commies running back to their mommies? I sure hope so, because if you don't stop them over there, the only thing standing between those godless Reds and the U.S. of A. is going to be one little ocean. I absolutely agree, Mr. President. We cannot allow the Soviets to secure a foothold in Great Britain. The fate of the free world depends upon it. Hello, capitalist dogs. I am General Krukov, the one who will bring you defeat today. Brace yourselves for the might of the Red Navy. We will pound your little island until you weep for mercy. Things are going well, but I fear that was just their first wave. Take those gun emplacements on the beachhead to help repel any more attacks that might be coming. Good. Congratulations, Commander. You sent those bastards packing. They'll bloody well think twice before they try to invade us again. That was a win-win for everyone, Commander. Well, not the Reds. For them, it was more of a lose-lose. Too bad our other commanders don't have your can-do attitude. I'll tell you what, Bingham, I like this new commander. Let's send him to France so he can kick a little more commie butt. Uh, actually, sir, I was considering that very possibility. I guess great minds do think alike. And just to show you I'm not all talk, I'm sending you our toughest, meanest covert commando. Boys, I'd like you to meet Tanya. Hello, gentlemen. Tanya's the best we have. She can kill a man 15 different ways with her bare hands, so a word of advice, don't get on her bad side. Commander, the Soviet general you beat back at Brighton Beach has retreated to the south of France. He captured Cannes and kidnapped all our brass down there. I'll take out their naval port, but you'll have to take care of the rest. Good work destroying that port. Now you'll need to take out that final Soviet base. Be careful. They still have dreadnoughts pounding the shoreline with rockets. Good job, Commander. The Allied leaders have been liberated, and you've driven the Soviet army out of France. Tanya is currently working undercover and acquiring the latest intel on the situation. If I knew anything, I would tell you! Tanya? Commander! Lieutenant Eva! Huh. Out here in the field, things get a little messy sometimes. Not so neat and tidy like they are back in the office. Can you please brief the commander on our current situation? Certainly. The Reds hold Heidelberg. I'm gonna get Sergei here to give them the location of their headquarters. The only thing I can't do is take it out for you. That, you're gonna have to do on your own. Yes, Your naval forces will continue on to their destination, but your job is here, on dry land. Build up a base and then turn your attention to the Soviet headquarters. Be on the lookout, sir. They know you're here. Well done, Commander. You've done it. The Soviets are out of Western Europe and far too weak to mount any sort of counterattack. See you back at HQ. Oh, and make some room in that uniform for a new medal or two. The day of destiny has 
arrived. The Empire of the Rising Sun has risen. The Western Barbarians will bow before us, or their nations will cease to exist. This message was broadcast throughout the world earlier today. Allied leaders have gathered in Geneva for an emergency meeting. The Empire's floating island fortress currently controls the North Atlantic, blockading the entire continent of Europe, paralyzing all... This is unbelievable. While we were busy fighting the Red Menace, this Empire of the Rising Sun was secretly preparing for war. They waited until we and the Soviets were at our weakest and most vulnerable, and now... Now they are at our very doorstep. As you can see, it's not just our problem. The Soviets have also been blocked by these naval monstrosities. So, some of our diplomats have been in negotiations with them regarding a ceasefire, as it's clear that neither one of us can defeat this new enemy alone. Bingham, I heard a crazy rumor that I know can't possibly be true. What rumor are you referring to? That we're negotiating a peace treaty with the commies? Actually, it's more of a ceasefire. So you're telling me it is true? Well, we've already exhausted all of our forces pushing the Russians out of Europe. And now that we have a common enemy... Bullpucky! You know those Russians can't be trusted. They hate everything we stand for. Freedom, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, apple pie... Did I say freedom? Well, it's worth saying again. The leaders of all the other allied nations already agreed. Not me. Not the U.S. of by God, eh? You're making a very big mistake, my friend. You mark my words. The Empire believes it is their divine destiny to wipe us off the face of the Earth. Prove them wrong, Commander. Commander, we're heading to Gibraltar to reclaim our port from the Japanese. I'm gonna be helping you out on the ground on this one. If I were you, though, I'd watch your back. I trust these reds about as far as I can throw them. Build up a base and rescue those trapped naval units. You are going to need them to take out the Empire's fortifications. Good show, Commander. Bloody well done. Those assault destroyers you just reclaimed are going to be very useful in taking down those island fortresses. Sir. Premier Tredenko is on the line. Put him through, Lieutenant, gentlemen. Field Marshal Bingham, I wanted to personally thank you for all your efforts in making this partnership successful. Well, that's appreciated, but you should thank our commander here. He's the one who led the assault on Gibraltar. It is indeed a pleasure, Commander. I hope you were satisfied with Natasha's contribution on the battlefield. She's one of our finest. Yes, well, we're going to need Natasha and every other resource at your command if we're going to take down that floating fortress in the North Atlantic. I concur. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you. This menace has put a chokehold on all naval movement in the North Sea. But with our assault destroyers and the help of the Soviets, we might just have a chance. Godspeed, Commander. That was bang on brilliant, Commander. Excellent work. And I have to say, the Soviets are proving to be a valuable ally. Sir, Premier Chedenko is on the line. He says it's urgent. We won't stand for this treachery, Bingham. Do you hear me? My advice has warned me against trusting you allies. I'm sorry, treachery? What the hell is going on? Eva? Sir. Apparently one of our satellite relay systems is targeted directly at Moscow. Its source is an American command post I didn't even know existed. It's at the site of Mount Rushmore Monument in South Dakota. <laughs> what? Oh, Ackerman. Get the president on the line. What's happening at this Mount Rushmore command center, Mr. President? Those Reds are playing you for a fool, my friend. And as long as I'm the president of these United States, I can't allow them to lead this dance. Bingham, you can thank me later when this is all over. <laughs> when what's all over? Ackerman! Oh, God. He's clearly out of his tree. You need to stop him, Commander, before he undermines our alliance with the Russians.
None of you have the guts to do what needs to be done, so I'm gonna wipe those Soviets off this earth myself. And you can't stop me. Should my heart stop beating, the weapon fires. Well, he's done it. He's gone stark raving mad. You have to stop him, Commander. You have to prevent that weapon from firing. For if you don't, the Soviets will surely retaliate. I know it seems unfair to ask this of you, but the fate of the free world is now in your hands. Ah, Commander. That was a close one. I can assure you, we did the right thing. Ackerman put the whole world in danger with that mad stunt. And all the while, we're at war with the Empire of the Rising Sun. Sir, I just received word from an inside source that the Supreme Shogunate will be meeting in Tokyo tomorrow. So the Empire's generals will all be in one place at one time? Yes, sir. We can decapitate them with one stroke. Brilliant. We must get on this immediately. I'll contact the Soviets. Let them know the good news. Commander, this might be it. Let's show the Empire of the Rising Sun that their divine destiny of world domination is nothing but an insane fantasy. I'm glad to see you made it back in one piece, Commander. Excellent job at Mount Rushmore. I trust you're good to go? You can flirt with the Commander later, Lieutenant. Right now, we have a job to do. I wasn't flirting, sir. I was just, you know, making conversation. Bad news, Commander. The Soviets aren't coming. We don't have any more information on this, but it looks like they've hung us out to dry. We're going to need you to do this without their help. We'll never have a better shot at taking out the Empire than we have right here. Magnificent. A fateful day indeed for the Empire, though perhaps not the fate that they had in mind. I don't understand what happened to those Russians, though. They'd better have a good explanation. Sir, a top Soviet scientist has defected to Berlin. His name is Dr. Gregor Zelinsky. I have him connected. He says he has an urgent message. He'll only deliver to you two. Put him through. Oh, Mr. Bingham, thank you. You must listen to me. Nothing is as it should be. All right, calm down. This war should never have happened. We went back in time to save ourselves and everything changed. This empire, for example, from Japan didn't even exist in the original space-time continuum. What are you talking about? We have created time machine. A time machine? Yes, yes, you must believe me. Everything Premier Sherdenko has told you is a lie and I was preparing a full-scale assault from a secret base in Cuba. What? Eva, can we confirm this? Hold on, sir. The doctor's claims may be true, sir. We're seeing some Soviet ships arriving in Havana Harbor, bearing some sort of mysterious cargo. Doctor, we're not through with you yet. We have many more questions, and we're going to need answers. Thank you. Commander, clearly, you have to find out what's happening in Cuba. Oh, this is madness! The Soviets are hell-bent on total destruction. You need to take out all those stadiums and destroy every single killer of that launch's commander. If just one of them gets away, some undefended city will certainly be destroyed. You caught them by the short and curlies, Commander. They didn't know what hit them. Well, it looks like everything Zelinsky said was true. I can hardly believe it myself. Those treacherous Russians are to blame for everything that has happened in this war. The only thing that matters now is the complete and utter destruction of the Soviet Union. Chodenko and Krukov have concentrated all their forces in the one place they believe is impregnable, the Peter and Paul Fortress in Leningrad. Bring it down, Commander. Make them pay for their lies and betrayal.
days ago that this brilliant new commander was called to lead the Allied nations at a desperate hour. And now with freedom restored and the Soviet leaders confined to a cryo prison, our hero may finally find a little time for some rest of his own. You didn't forget my invitation, did you, Commander? I was hoping you were free this evening. Not bad, huh, Commander? I clean up pretty good. How about celebrating over a drink tonight? I know this great little pub in Soho. Commander? Manda? Thank you all for coming. I take this podium today reluctantly and with a heavy heart. President Howard Ackerman was a great American. I was proud to be his friend and proud to be his vice president. Yes, he did try to level Moscow and kill millions of innocent people, but only because he was trying to protect us. And in the end, isn't that what really matters? We owe much to those brave heroes who stood against the forces of fascism and communism, like that courageous young commander who led the free world to victory. Thank you, Commander, wherever you are. Today, I will take the reins of this great country, and together we will march forward into a bright and prosperous future. We will share with our defeated enemies the fruits of capitalism and consumerism. For if they're shopping for cars and plasma TVs, they won't want to build up massive armies or invent new weapons of war. They'll be enjoying the American dream, sitting with their families on Super Sunday, watching the big game with the rest of us. Fellow citizens, I humbly accept this honor and promise to make you proud. Thank you. God bless America.